Assalamualaikum. Okay, uh, in this video, this is a new chapter for the chapter 3 and the topic is BJT DC biasing. We have about 7 topics. So for today, uh, I want to go to the first part which is the introduction first. What is BJT? Okay, what is BJT? BJT is a bipolar junction transistor. Why we call it bipolar? Bipolar means there are two polarities involved in this transistor when operating. The polarities are the carrier involved in the operation of the transistor. So there are two carriers which are holes and electron. Normally, the holes, we use neg uh, positive sign and electron, we use negative sign. If only one carrier is employed, either holes or electron, it is said to be unipolar. For example, a Scott key diode. However, in this topic, I will not explain about the scalcula yet. So I just go through about the BJT. For the BJT construction, as you can see in this figure, there are three layer semiconductor. You can see one layer, second layer, and the third layer. There are two types of BJT, which are PNP and NPN. So as you can see, each construction, you see there is a E, B, and C labels. So E stand for emitter, B stand for base, and C is for collector. So every time you can, every time you see E, B, C, that means the name of each terminal. So for the BJT construction, the layer, layer width for the outer layer is different with the inner layer. As you can see in this slide, okay. you can see the P layer is greater than the inner layer. This outer layer and this is the inner layer. Layer greater than the inner layer. Okay, this is because, and another one is about the doping. The emitter layer is highly doped and it's said to be more conductivity. The collector layer is lightly doped and it has less conductivity. For the base layer, is more lightly doped, so it is laser conductivity. So, we call, uh, when we say about the doping, the emitter layer has a greater conductivity compared to C and B. So, B is very light conductivity here. The operation of PNP and NPN are the same except for the current flow. For the PNP, Current flow from E to B and C. For the NPN, the current flow from B and C to E. As for that, both type will have the current equation, which is IE equal to IB plus IC. You have to remember this equation because you will use this equation in DC analysis and also in AC analysis later. Okay, this is what I said about the uh, current flow for each type. As you can see here for the PNP, PNP, the current flows from E to C and E to B. 
you can see this arrow shows the direction from E to B. So start with the E, go to B, and E, go to C. For the NPN, take a look at the arrow. So this arrow shows at E. It means that the current flow from B to E and C to E. Okay. The arrow always point toward the end type for this one. Okay. The arrow is always drawn on the emitter. Okay. If you see this symbol, the arrow always drawn at E terminal. Okay. Either in or out. The arrow indicates the direction of the emitter current, emitter current which is E to B and B 